Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates, but tomorrow's the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, you know, because the timing is fluid on these. There are no times, there are no clocks in the universe. Divine timing is real. This reading may or may not be for you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Queen of Wands reversed. Now, the Queen of Wands reversed is somebody that is not... Uh, there's no vision. There's no excitement. Things are going south. Um, weak. This is this is a, a hysterical. Somebody could be hysterical. There could be somebody that is nasty and jealous and revengeful and manipulative. This is a very controlling person that is unhealthy, melodramatic, has a self-image problem. And it doesn't matter what sign it is because we all have this in our chart. This does represent Leo. Aries or Sagittarius, but we all have that in our chart. So this is a this is hysterical feeling. This is somebody who may be hysterical. There could somebody could be throwing a tantrum. Um, this person is self righteous and overly proud, and when they don't get their way, they act uh, melodramatically, right? So and that would be you know hysteria. So um, you know this person does it when I don't get when they don't get their way. It's like they throw fit. So somebody could be throwing a fit. Um, this is also could be a person that is very malicious and um, does not like not being in control. And when they're not in control, you know, they don't communicate. This person could give the silent treatment as a form of control. You know, anything to be in control. I feel a very jealous energy around this person, whoever it is. Um, this is also a liar. We have somebody that is a complete liar. Page of Cups. Hmm. Now, in this card, the Page of Cups, it looks like there is love. Right? There's something to do with love, obviously, with the Page of Cups. This is a message of love. This is also a child. Does it have to be a child? But there is a message of love. Or somebody is having loving feelings towards somebody. Somebody is definitely thinking about love. Look at when pigs fly. See, the pig is something about when pigs fly. I don't know what that means, but pigs don't usually fly. But we got a pig that is flying there. Um... So, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I got so many bright things in the background. You see the pig up there? There's a pig up there that is flying. So, something when pigs fly. I don't know what that means. But, anyway, that's what it pointed out to me. Oh, these two cards didn't didn't come up when I picked up the deck. So, we're going to take them. Um... Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. We all know what this is. Look at that big old crow. Is that a crow? It's either a crow or a raven, right? We talked about this yesterday. And this is not the crow deck. We got somebody here that is definitely trapped. They're not really trapped, but they, they see themselves as being trapped. Sneaking. We have somebody here that is sneaky. Very, very sneaky. And it does look like it's... I mean, this crow is like... Ka, ka, you know, like announcing it. Something is being announced. Letting everybody know. Somebody's going to get caught, okay? Some this Because somebody's going to be... Somebody, this, ca, this somebody... I'm telling you what. Alert! That's what I hear. It's like, alert, 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 alert. Whatever that means. This person thinks that they're getting away with something, but they're not. Because somebody's going to open their mouth and 
let the others know what is going on. So this is a card of, I mean, the Eight of Swords. This is somebody who's wearing a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask, but their ma it's like their mask is going to come off. Somebody's mask is going to come off because somebody's going to reveal what is going on. They're going to let somebody know what is going They're going to get caught. Somebody's in this the liar. Oh, God. We have a liar here that is about to get caught. Yes, we do. They could end up in jail. They could end up with handcuffs. Put it that way. Somebody could end up in handcuffs. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like we have, this is a very emotional time. We have somebody here that is a dreamer. Somebody that is very sensitive. This person, this is a very sensitive person right here. This person is dreaming. Be care be pay attention to your dreams, put it that way. They may be dreaming of they're dreaming of love or dreaming of finding love. This is about dreams. Interesting. Pay attention to your dreams. It it also feels like there's an angel here. There's an angel that is coming to the rescue. Or something like that. Eight of Cups. This is leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. Headed towards happiness. So we got somebody here that is leaving a liar behind. They're looking for love. They're looking for real love. They're dreaming about love, but they gotta this is this is walking away and leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind with somebody that is a liar. Probably a thief. Somebody that has betrayed them. Kept them trapped. Somebody has been trapped. Not seeing that they could escape, but it looks like they're about to escape. There's it's like there is good, going to be some sort of escape here. There is. Leaving this whole situation behind in search for happiness. Dreaming of love, dreaming of happiness. And it's like, this is this this pig does have wings. <laughs> okay. So it's like that's an angel. So it's like there's some sort of angel among us that is bringing somebody an opportunity for love that could make them very happy after they walk away from whatever this situation is that is so unfulfilling. We, this, per this person is going towards the happiness. They are. They really, really are. So, King of Swords. Now, this person is... Oh, look at this. It's funny that I chose this owl. Take a look at that one. Take a look at the owl. Very similar to that one. So that's interesting. We have a very wise, intuitive individual here. This guy is intellectual. And it could be a male or a female. This is an energy right here. This is somebody that is very intellectual. Somebody that is very, very wise. Very intuitive. This person knows something. He does. He knows something. And it's like he hasn't spoken up yet. Because the sword is down, it's not up, but he knows the truth about a situation and he's going to speak up right now. He's thinking about it. He's planning it by the looks of things. He wants to make sure he's making the right choice, making the right decision. Very wise, wise, wise individual here. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do have somebody that is leaving behind somebody. This is walking away. Somebody is turning their back on something that is not, you know, that was very disappointing. There's, it's not what it was cracked up to be. The magician, this is taking action to bring success. This is going after something more. It is, it is uh, manifesting something new. 
This is somebody who is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So we do. And this is a yes answer. Yes, yes. You are doing the right thing. Keep doing it. You have the resources. So this is somebody that is finding the resources that they need to be successful. And if that includes letting go of the old, that's what they're doing. This is power. We have somebody here that it's like they're taking their power back. They are. The hangman. We have somebody here that was refusing. They were refusing. They were trying to prove a point. They were resisting change. But now they're starting to see things from a new perspective because they've had time to think. We have a, we definitely have a thinker here. And it's like now they know. Now they know they have to walk away to regain their power. And they're regaining their power by letting go. But this person has been stuck for quite some time choosing to hold on to something that didn't serve them. But I think it's over. Okay, I do. I think it's over. I think somebody is starting to see things differently. Um, and now they're starting to let go or they're definitely thinking about letting go. They've got the information. They've become enlightened. So they are seeing clearly now. Somebody has the clarity. Whereas before they didn't. They've taken the time to reflect. And now they have their answer. So the answer has been received. And there is like like I said. That angel among us. It's like there's somebody. I feel like there's some sort of um, help. Angelic help or something. That is giving somebody. so Showing somebody the signs. Or giving somebody the clarity that they need. Somebody the, this this time. Okay, because we have some time here. This Remember, I started this out with divine timing. So it's like they, they're realizing something. The time that, that this time alone or this time of introspection or this time of, you know, there's been some time that may have seemed like it was wasted, but it wasn't because somebody was going through a period of enlightenment. Now they have the clarity that they have to walk away. They have to go. So somebody is leaving behind something. Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, they are. That was an illusion. It was a fantasy. And this is kind of like fantasy as well. I feel like somebody had their heart set on somebody that was literally emotionally unavailable. And now they realize the truth. You know, they've become wiser through this period of isolation, reflection, whatever it was. They've become a lot wiser. Six of Cups reverse. Now the Six of Cups is like be the Six of Cups in reverse may have something to do with children, and this is a child as well. So we we could be talking about children here in some way or the past. Somebody's been clinging to the memories of the past. Could be a past lover, even a past union, a past partnership. But when you get the Six of Cups in reverse, this is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Okay. We have nothing stays the same. The Six of Cups in reverse could also be child abuse. Okay? And this guy is a protector. The King of Swords is a protector. So this could be child protection services. I'm just being honest with you. This could be somebody in the law that is coming to protect the children. I mean, this card came up. That's when this popped up. I thought, ooh, child neglect. And then I realized this could be a protector for some of you. For, for who? I don't know for who, but so this could be child protection services. Seeing the truth. Because this is a very wise, 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 intuitive individual here. Um, this is this could be somebody that was robbed of their innocence. Children deserve to be children. They have dreams too. They deserve to be able to play. This is a very playful card. They deserve to be children. Not so controlled. <laughs> Anyhow, um, somebody, and I understand that children should, should be under control, but they shouldn't be trapped in situations and if it's not children somebody is trapped in a situation that is unhealthy it's like they can't even move they can't do anything they're probably fearful of getting caught doing anything what happens if I get caught 
We have somebody here that is that's the first card. Is so controlling. This is so controlling. This is sick. And this person has a self-image problem. So we have somebody up here that is very selfish. It's like they're stealing something. They're stealing something. This is coming out of the darkness, though. Five of Cups reversed. Coming out of a sad situation. Justice, the reverse. There's definitely been an injustice here. We do. We have an injustice. Mirroring this card. Somebody has been uh, lied to. Okay, lies, lies, lies. Somebody's been lying. They have. They haven't been telling the truth. I feel like we have somebody here that has been robbed of happiness, robbed of growth, robbed of freedom under another person's control. But the justice reversed is, well, bad karma. Okay, somebody's going to get bad karma. Five of Cups reversed. There's a new opportunity beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. We have a high priestess just flipped over. There is somebody is beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity than staying in this situation that is <laughs> unhealthy. It's mentally <laughs> Well, this is a very mental issue. This It's mentally uh, confining. This is containment. Somebody has con been contained in a situation that is really unhealthy. It feels like somebody else kept them there or held them there. This is somebody is beginning to realize that there is a better opportunity than staying here. Than keeping this person here. The truth is, this is because something is going to be revealed because of that crow or raven or whatever it is that is, somebody is opening their mouth about this injustice. We definitely have an intuitive here that knows everything that is going on. The high priestess is an intuitive. This person is very gifted, very spiritual. This is highly intuitive. And we got intuition. We got a very intuitive person here that is going to be very aware of whatever this deception is. It's like the minute they see it, they know. They know. They know that somebody has been lying. They know that somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Could be this Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or whoever this person is. This person is malicious and they lie. Interesting. Now, the high priestess is is uh, somebody that is, is intuitive. They keep to themselves. They wait. They wait for the right time to reveal. They are very, very wise. Um, very powerful individual here who listens and observes. This intuitive is going to see the injustice. They're going to see the lack of integrity. They're going to see the, the lies, whatever it is. Whoever this person is, is going to see the truth. Somebody has definitely been lying and not telling the truth, but the secret is going to be revealed. It can't be hidden from somebody who is awakened. We have a very awakened person here versus somebody that is not. But there is a new opportunity. Somebody is going to be, I mean, 
This is going away. Oh my God, this is a separation of some sort and it is going, this is a heartbreaking separation. Very painful. It's going to feel, somebody's going to feel like their heart has been ripped right out. I don't know if you can see that card very well. Yeah, they're going to feel like their heart has been ripped right out. This could also be a heart attack. I'm just, I just got to be honest with you. This is painful. This is a painful separation. Somebody is going to be experiencing a painful situation or a separation. <laughs> and I'm putting it right here and it may have to do with some sort of injustice, some sort of karmic contract being fulfilled. This could be the end of a karmic contract. This is heartache. This is heartbreak. This is a painful separation. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's been deceiving. They've been malicious. So yeah, this is, this is definitely, I mean, that is heartbreaking. That really is heartbreaking. I can't pretend. I know a lot of you will, will try to change that up, but I ain't that girl. I'm sorry. I tell it exactly the way it is, and that's the way it goes. All right. So there is probably going to be some grieving here. Some sort of loss. Because somebody didn't act with integrity. Somebody didn't tell the truth. When you lie... It, the lies always come out. They always, 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 people, you always get caught. And if you don't, you will in the next lifetime. Somebody's going to get, their lies are going to get caught. They're going to get caught in their lies. And they're going to experience a loss because of it. I just happened to look on the bottom and I got chills down both of my arms <laughs> the Empress it's upright this compassionate loving caring mother is going to receive a blessing and it, this is a person who is beautiful, she is kind, she is generous, she is abundant, abundant, and she takes care of everybody. She can grow anything, and she does it with ease, and she puts, she gives her all. This one gives her all. She would do anything for her children. In the upright. This person has, is very wise and has gained life experience through suffering and pain. And this is the beginning of a new life. This is, a, this is a rebirth. This is the birth of a new life. So there is a birth here. There's a, there's, there's a, a painful separation. This is painful. But there is a birth, just like yesterday, but different cards, death and rebirth. We have a new life that comes after pain. After releasing the pain. After experiencing the pain. After this pain is experienced, there is a new life. So somebody, there, somebody is about to start a new life. They could be getting pregnant, they could be delivering, or they're they're getting a child, or something like that. It doesn't have to be, but they, somebody could be coming into contact with this person. They've been in a pain, painful situation, and this is their new beginning. This is a new beginning. She gives birth to a new life. She's beautiful. She's glowing. She's valuable, and everybody knows it. It's easy to see. It's clear. So somebody's going to become clear of the choice. And there's going to be somebody that is walking away. 
from something that doesn't serve them, taking back their power and stepping into a new life. Congratulations. Good luck.